We are in SQL Developer, and we have the same SQL statement as before. And in this case, I went back and dropped the index that we added in the last segment, so we can see the impact of that full table scan in terms of logical reads. To execute a statement and get the auto trace results, you want to click this button here, and the tooltip of this button will be auto trace. Again, this button has moved around a little bit in the different versions of SQL Developer, so look around for the correct tooltip in the version of SQL Developer that you have. You can also use the F6 key as a shortcut key to run a statement with Autotrace. I just want to say one more time, an Autotrace will actually execute your statement in Oracle, so be mindful of that. Let's go ahead and execute the SQL statement with the Autotrace capability and see our results. You can see here that we have a new tab in our result area, and the name of this tab is called Autotrace. And the data in this tab looks very much like our execution plan, and that's because when you run an auto trace, one of the things that it does is give you back the execution plan that was used to run the SQL statement. And that's what we have here. However, in this tree structure, we do have some additional data that we did not have before. First, we have a column last CR buffer gets. This is the number of logical reads that Oracle is performing for this step. Like cost, this value is inclusive not just of the line item that it's on, but of any operations in the subtree of this operation. So looking at our statement here, we see that the full table scan operation resulted in 741 logical reads, which is far and away higher than the other operations in our statement. What this tells us is a couple of things. First, Oracle's having to comparatively read a lot of data in order to perform this operation. And then there's a lot of data for Oracle to process to go through to get the rows that it needs. The second new column that we see here is called last output rows. And what this is, is the number of rows that were actually output as a result of this step. Remember that the cardinality column tells us how many rows Oracle estimated would be output from the step. The last rows column is the actual value. So in this case, for our full table scan operation again, we see that we're getting 40 rows back. And when we match this up with the number of blocks that Oracle had to read, we see that we're not being very efficient here because we had to read a lot of blocks just to find those 40 rows. Just like the cardinality column, the value of the last output rows can give you a good idea of the result set produced by each operation. If you see a large result set in one operation, and then in the parent, the numbers of rows decrease dramatically, this would indicate that you have an operation producing a lot of rows only to be thrown away in the next step. So you'd want to investigate if perhaps you could use something like a more selective where clause in the child operation, so it doesn't have to produce so many rows that are ultimately going to be thrown away. In SQL Developer, we also get this panel down here, which gives us stats for our session for the time that our SQL statement was executing. And so I'll move this up so that we can see the results that are in here. I will warn you up front, these stats are actually a little bit off. For example, if we look at the consistent gets, for example, if we look at the consistent gets in this lower pane, we see that we have a value of 773. Whereas in our tree structure above, what we have is a value of 769. What is happening here is the query that Oracle uses to fetch the data from the v$mystat view is running in the same session, and it is picking up some of the recursive queries Oracle has to run in order to process your SQL statement. For example, the query to find the columns on the table. Consequently, the statistics for the statements get intermingled, and that's what you're seeing in this lower pane down here. So you can look at these values, but treat them as approximations. They are close approximations, but nonetheless, they're a little bit off, not just from the data in the upper tree here, but also from what SQL Plus reports or what will be reported in an Oracle trace. Speaking of SQL Plus, let's go and see how to run an auto trace in SQL Plus, because SQL Plus does a nice job of formatting the data, which makes a few things a little bit easier to see.